Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary and Reba. This time I'm showing you something from Buildcraft. This is the Iron Transport Pipe. So for this you will need two iron ingots and one glass block. Place them like that and you get eight iron transport pipe. An iron transport pipe is unique in that it can direct flow. So for example I place it here and as you can see all three sides are opaque. However, if you right click on it with a buildcraft wrench, one of the sides becomes clear and continue to right click to cycle through them. This side is the only side that will output from anything that enters it. As you can see dirt is coming out of the right chest and cobblestone is coming out of the left. They enter the iron transport pipe and they all output through here, whereas with any other kind of pipe, it would randomly output out of any of the three. It allows you to funnel multiple inputs to a single output without having to worry about it backlogging. You can change iron transport pipe into iron waterproof pipe by placing pipe waterproof above it, just as you would with a normal transport pipe. And that produces iron waterproof pipe, which allows you to do just the same, but with liquids. So here it's opaque, cycle through to the output you want, and it means that there'll be no liquids going backwards and refilling tanks you're trying to empty. Finally, there is another way to change the output. A redstone signal, every time a new one is applied, will change the output of the iron pipe, as you can see here, by flicking this, and it would work with pressure pads, or buttons, or anything else. It also works with red alloy wire, which makes it a lot more versatile. Thank you for watching. If you have any requests, please send me a YouTube comment and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Also, if you have any requests not to do with the Technic Pack, please let me know. Catch you later.